Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Filatov and Maya that was played in Philadelphia in the year 2000. And where is Philadelphia? Philadelphia is the city in Pennsylvania, the United States. In this game, Filatov had white pieces and he started with d4. Maya played d5. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. And now, e3, call opening, e6, bishop to d3, c5, and the threat is c4, sending the bishop back to e2, 1, 2, 3, c5, and the threat is c4 pushing the bishop to less favorable square, e2. And white has to make a choice. He must either play c3 or b3. In our game we have b3. Bishop to e7. Bishop to b2. Knight from b to d7. Knight from b to d2. b6. White castled kingside, bishop to b7, queen to e2, black castled kingside, knight to e5, queen to c7, that is knight takes knight, 1, 2, 3, queen to c7, and white played a3. I'm not sure that was the necessary move. Perhaps white could have played f4 immediately. But we have a3, a6, and now f4. And if knight takes knight now, then white would recapture with f pawn. b5, and the threat is c4. How should white continue now? Maybe pawn takes pawn. Maybe c4 is not a bad move. What do you think? In the game, white captured knight on d7. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes pawn on c5, attacking the bishop. And it looks like that black is doing well. What do you think? Is it equal? Well, black thought it was equal. We have reached the most critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? Have you considered bishop takes on h7? Then king takes bishop. Check. King goes back to g8. Would it work? What do you think? Would you sacrifice the bishop? In the game, white did sacrifice the bishop on h7. This is check. King takes bishop, check, king to g8. And what now? Well, I'm sure that white already knew what to do when he sacrificed the bishop on h7. This is the winning move. Threat is queen to h8, checkmate. King takes bishop, queen to g4, check. And black resigned. If king goes to f6, then queen to g5 checkmate. What else? Well, if king goes to h8, then rook to f3. And the only way to avoid checkmate is to suffer material losses. Queen to d8, 
then check, bishop blocks, rook takes, queen takes, check, yes, there is no checkmate. Black wasn't interested in playing this because after say king to g8 then perhaps check and after king to h7 white can win a piece if knight moves bishop is lost protecting the knight then b4 and if knight goes to a4 Queen takes bishop. This should be winning for white. That is why in this position black resigned. And it all started from this position. What a brilliant attack. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.